Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Today we are back in DCS World and in the Mission Editor and we're going to take a quick look at how we can um, set up our own um, carrier strike group. So here we are on the Marianas Island uh, map, sorry. Uh, you see there's lots of ocean so it makes it very good for uh, carrier operations. So let's go ahead and zoom in. So what we want to do is come down to our left hand side here and the ship icon. I want to add or modify ship group. So let's go ahead and select that. And it will come up with our naval group. So let's call our, the name of our group, let's just call it uh, Carrier Strike Group 1. Okay, and we want the leader, I suppose you'd call it, or you know, the leader of the group to be our carrier. So let's just go ahead and call it carrier. Next we want our category, we want it to be a carrier and then it will bring up the options that we have um, for our carrier. I have the um, super carrier um, pack installed so I will get the options. Uh, if you don't have them installed I think you get the you just get the default uh, carrier. I'm not 100 sure which one that is. So let's go ahead and select our carrier. Boom, let's place it in there. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, right. So the carrier strike group isn't a group, is it? It's just a carrier. So it needs some additional ships to go along with it. So in order to do that, we can come up here to unit. We've got one of one. Well, we want to add more than one, don't we? So let's go ahead and select that to make it two. Now we've already got one carrier. So obviously, if you go on to Wikipedia, they will tell you what's exactly in a carrier strike group. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, um, we're just going to add some cruisers and destroyers along with uh, our carrier. So let's go ahead and down to cruisers and select that. And then as you can see, our ship has changed from a carrier, our second ship I should say, has changed from a carrier to a cruiser. And uh, we can go ahead and click and drag it and manipulate it wherever we want. So let's have one up here. Let's select number three. And it will create, or it will copy the last uh, ship you select. So we've got another cruiser there. Uh, so let's go ahead and place him there. Uh, ship number four. Let's change him to a destroyer. So a slightly different ship. There we go, and let's place him up there, and place another one there. So obviously, I don't think this is very realistic how I've set it up here, and there's probably a hundred different articles on Wikipedia and Google on how you can set it up. This is just a quick and easy way of showing you. Now, because all of these supporting ships, the cruise and destroyers, are linked to our first ship, our carrier they will all follow the same direction as the carrier so let's go ahead and just plonk a waypoint in there and all our ships will now sail in that direction at a speed of 27 knots perfect so if we go back to that's all very good well and good but now we want to be able to find and navigate to our carrier if you're in an F-18, for example, you might be able to find it. So if we go ahead and select it, ensure that we have our carrier selected, so unit 1, which we know is our carrier. We've got here, activate TACAN. So we want to edit this. So uh, we'll see this will enable our TACAN. So let's just call it CV73. We can select our channel, uh, so let's just, I don't know, 44, X-ray, call sign, CV73. This is how, uh, what we want our TACAN signal to be called uh, in the aircraft. So when it picks up channel 44, we'll see CV73. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to link it to our carrier strike group one. Because we have our carrier selected, it will show carrier strike group one, which, or the unit carrier strike group one one, which is our carrier. Okay, so now you've been able to find your way back to the carrier. 
we now want to activate our ICLS. So to do that, we need to click Add, um, Perform Command, I think, and then Activate ICLS. And name, and let's just call it ICLS1, Channel1, and again, we need to link it to our carrier, otherwise it won't work. Channel, obviously you can manipulate that figure to whatever you wish. I just tend to keep it up at channel one, um, just keeps things simple. And there we have our uh, carrier now has a working TACAN and ICLS channel. So when we find our way back through our TACAN, we can then tune in to our ICLS and use that to land on the carrier. And that is more or less how we set up our aircraft carrier. So let's go ahead and just take a look at it. And here we go, here's our aircraft carrier. As you can see, if we look around, we've got our supporting ships, so cruisers and destroyers out there that we set up. And obviously, I've not populated the uh, the deck of the carrier. Um, we can carry on doing that another time. But this is basically set up as uh, set up a ship for us. And as, like I said, because I've got the super carrier pack installed, uh, mine will have animated deck cruise, which is a nice touch. Uh, and that's essentially it on how to create a carrier strike group. Obviously, it goes out saying you can do this for uh, any kind of ships, you know, whether they be Russian uh, using their type of carriers or the uh, UK's Queen Elizabeth type carriers. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them if I can uh, and help you out. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And uh, I shall see you next time. Goodbye.